Good afternoon and welcome to our session on materialized lake view in fabric. Today my name is Nijal and Abhijit. We are going to introduce a powerful feature which will simplify your medallion architecture implementations. Let's dive in. We'll explore the concept of materialized lake view in fabric, highlighting how it can enhance your experience in data management. We have a demo which will showcase the key features and capabilities. It will give you a good understanding of the usage and the details about this feature. Okay, so before going to the details of material X lake view, let us take a few minutes about understanding how about working with the big data today. Every day we talk to engineers, architects, data engineers, admin, who is building, operating, and making decisions out of big data. So they work on the raw data and make insight which will enhance the business outcomes. With the introduction of LLMs, generative AI, able to maintain a clean and updated data is crucial than ever. Typically, companies implement medallion architecture to achieve this. Medallion architecture is very powerful process to implement the data architecture, but it's not very easy to maintain. Developers often face challenges in handling structural changes, handling the pipelines, triggers, and schedules, and also developing custom, custom code for managing the data quality and making actions based on that. You can imagine how difficult it will be to see an end-to-end -end view and go for troubleshooting. Say for example, if any job is taking more time, is it related to a more data coming into picture or is it due to a updated query? And what if your engineer comes and say, my job is taking more time? Is it due to some data quality issues or is it due to some compute is not enough? So that is why we are excited to introduce fabric materialized lake view. This feature is designed to overcome the challenges which you are facing in medallion architecture and make your data experience seamless. So let's imagine you are a data engineer starting your day. You have pipelines to manage, schedules to manage, the quality rules to enforce, and the stakeholders are waiting for updated data, right? Just imagine you could do all these things in SQL. With our declarative pipeline, that's what exactly you get. Our SQL will allow you to define your complex transformations and logic and also enforce the data quality into the SQL itself. Okay. It's not just that. You can also define actionable actions on data quality issues or if something goes wrong. You don't need to dig into the logs and write custom code to understand what is happening uh, where. Okay. So with some SQL statement, you will get a clean global data refreshed on a schedule which is defined by you. And also, defining is half done. You want to see what is happening in real time, right? That is where our intuitive monitoring is coming into picture. So imagine you can see a lineage view of all your data elements in a visual graph with a clear indication of status of pipeline runs and also having an indication of what is going wrong also imagine having a data quality trend over time. That's what we get in this feature. Also, you can define actual alert if something goes off. So with these two, declarative pipeline and intuitive monitoring, you get a powerful combo, control and clarity. You can define what you want in a SQL way and you can see what is happening really. Interesting. So let's dive in. Let's see in real case what's happening. Take an example, Condosa Airline, a company where data is always in motion. The data is coming from multiple sources like fair data, operations data, events data, uh, sorry, weather events data, customer sentiments, etc. So t take an example, like, let's meet a David. He is a data engineer. He is responsible for maintaining the entire data estate. So today he is battling with having multiple schedules, 
multiple data sources. Also, he's not just handling the in-house data. He's also handling the data from third-party sources like weather data. Sometimes this data become messy, right? So missing data, missing values, inconsistent format, data arriving late, etc. So if the data is off, the decisions make out of this also may not be right. Correct? So, so let's see how David is able to implement this in Fabric Materialized Lake View. In Materialized Lake View, everything is declarative. You define what you want, Fabric takes care of how part of it. Let's see. So in this demo, Condoso in implementing the bronze layer by ingesting data from flight data, fair data, weather data, all are appearing as delta tables in lake house. Now he's decided to derive a silver layer to enrich the data. So with Fabric Notebook, David is able to write SQL statement to define the materialized lake view, material lake views. Our syntax is very similar to table syntax. That means it supports all the operations and constructs in, in Spark. You see, he is using very complex scenarios and defining multiple, multiple materialized views in silver and continuing to build the gold layer data. Okay, so this is a definition part of, if you see, it uses a lot of constructs, a lot of aggregations in the, in the entire uh, materialized views. Okay. So let's see next. Here is what it will become more powerful. So David is able to define the data quality measures in the SQL itself. So take an example here. David is decided to drop some records if the airport code is not in the range, which is okay. But when it comes to a data which is important to the revenue reporting, like for example, the, uh, the seed data is not right or the, uh, the distance data is not right, he decided to fail the refresh tagging it as a very complex, very, very, very critical issue. So the refresh of materialized will fail instantly. So the, the constraint can become very complex by combining multiple columns, multiple conditions, etc. Here you see, he written really complex conditions and also he's defining other construct in the same SQL statement. So the definition and the data quality can be in the same. So just fast forward, he's executed the notebook once executed, the materialized lake will appear in the lake house just as any other delta table. This means that any tool in Fabric like Power BI, SQL Endpoint, Notebooks, or any other Spark can make use of this data without any setup. So here, Condoso decided to use Power BI to derive the business insight. So here you can see he is able to see the airline performance month on month, the impact on uh, flight cancellation revenue, uh, also economic impact on uh, on weather. Okay. So, with some SQL statement, David is able to define very robust and reliable silver and gold layer, a medallion architecture, without writing any code for scheduling, uh, uh, writing code for um, data quality measures, etc. So, as I told earlier, defining a medallion architecture is half done. So, let us hear from Abhijit. What is next? Abhijit, over to you. Thanks, Rajal. Okay, uh, now let's see what happens when data starts flowing in from upstream sources. When data starts flowing from upstream sources into the lake house, Fabric automatically tracks the lineage. Every materialized lake view knows exactly which tables or materialized lake view it depends on. And when a schedule is hit, Fabric automatically triggers a refresh. Okay, so as you can see, uh, here you have a, a DAG with uh, multiple uh, materialized lake views here. You can see the relationship between the nodes. Uh, Fabric automatically tracks the lineage. And so when a schedule is hit, uh, Fabric automatically triggers a refresh. The refresh is optimally handled by deciding the best possible execution path. If you see in this data set, the three highlighted materialized lake views will execute in parallel. But it's not just about automation, it's about trust. Each materialized lake view uh, has a status indicator that tells you whether the refresh succeeded, failed, or was skipped, and why. 
Let's say uh, the materialized lake view silver weather impact fails. You can inspect the error and trace it back to the exact rower constraint that caused the issue with ease. And it doesn't just stop there. Fabric provides an inbuilt data quality report in Power BI, which enables Contoso to visualize how many records were dropped due to constraints, which constraints cause maximum number of row failures, and which runs cause the maximum number of drops in rows, and so on. And with Data Activator, David can now set up alerts. So let's say if the number of drops, uh, drops increases beyond a predefined threshold that was determined by David. If this happens, David can promptly notify the right team instantly and with context. This means no more silent failures, no more stale dashboards, just clean, reliable data that is refreshed automatically, monitored continuously, and enforced with business rules. And there you go. With Fabric Materialized Lake Views, Contoso is able to transform a complex medallion pipeline into a declarative, observable, and resilient system ready for analytics at scale. So this feature, the Fabric Materialized Lake View, it's still in private preview, so stay tuned for our announcement once it's available in all regions. Now let's take a quick look at what's coming up next. We have a host of exciting features designed to make your life easier. First up, incremental refresh. No more running full data refresh uh, for small changes upstream. Just the changes that, uh, uh, that got updated, only those are refreshed, saving compute and time for you. Then there's file source support. Imagine creating a view from a bunch of files and keeping it in sync automatically as the collection of files evolves. And we know how popular PySpark is, so we are soon adding support for PySpark along with Spark SQL. And for those of you who have complex medallion uh, setups uh, spanning multiple lake houses, uh, we are adding support for cross lake house support. This will make such implementations a lot easier. And we are also bringing in CI CD support to help automate deployment of materialized lake views. Uh, this is in line with the rest of the lake house, which already supports CI CD. And finally, uh, we are introducing configuration support at the materialized lake view level. This gives you more control and flexibility on how you provision resources based on the volume of data process and also the criticality of your business reports. All of these features reflect our commitment to continuous innovation and to making sure you've got the right tools to build fast and build right. So that wraps it up. Thank you for attending this presentation. Uh, your engagement really makes a difference. If you have any feedback, questions, or any further information, we're happy to help.